Welcome to the Daily Prophetic Word. And the Daily Prophetic Word for Monday, the 30th of December 2019 is Righteousness is True Religion. What is true religion? Taking care of the widows and orphans. Looking after my children who suffer and are poor. Do you live a righteous life? Do you care for the nameless and faceless in your neighborhood? Do you do a daily sacrifice of love? Righteousness is true religion. I'm asking you to become righteous and to go into your neighborhoods to seek my lost sheep. Feed my sheep every day. Feed my sheep and by setting up righteous examples, you will draw them to the light. Your light will draw my lost sheep and will allow you to bring in the wheat into the barn. Righteousness is true religion. I am sending you in the street corners and byways to find my lost children. Turn their heart back to the Father. Guide them onto the narrow and righteous path that will lead to eternal life. Righteousness is my true religion. And this was the daily prophetic word given by the Holy Spirit for Monday, the 30th of December 2019. My dear brothers and sisters, if righteousness is true religion, as it is stated in James 1.27, then what about our churches, our buildings, our denominations, and our man-made religions? I tell you what it's about this. They are fake. They are not fulfilling the purpose as the Lord has said. For them it's not about righteousness. For them it's about business, for them it's about money, for them it's about self-elevation. Most pastors are, are taken in by the temptations of the devil of self-elevation. Most of them elevate themselves so high and they are buzzing in the, in the praise of the congregation instead to humble themselves before the cross as we see in this image. Most of them are just a fake representation of a religion, what is actually righteousness. And what is righteousness? To look for the nameless, the faceless in your neighborhood. And what it is furthermore, righteous deeds of the saints and the righteous deeds of the saints are the white fine garment that you will receive in the multitude clothed in white before you will enter into paradise. And how do you do that? By changing your garment in the blood of the Lamb. And this you can only do in equality, in unity, and in humility. Humble yourself. Become a true bride of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and walk with Him wherever He is going. Take your cross, abide in Him, obey His commandments, and walk that path, that narrow and righteous path. It's called a narrow and righteous path. It's all about righteousness. And righteousness will lead you to paradise. Righteousness will lead you to the spiritual mansion prepared by our Lord and Savior in John 14, 2. It is righteousness. Everything is written in the Bible. You only have to read it. Please, practice a true religion and become righteous. My brothers and sisters, this is the only way for eternal life. Do not listen to people who are telling you anything else. It's all written in the Bible. And if it would be like these people are claiming, then the apostles would thus have sat down and have waited for Jesus to return. But they didn't. They didn't because they were righteous. They went out into the fields to spread the gospel of the kingdom for all to hear and to establish home churches wherever they were going to spread a true religion. They were helping the needy in every place they were going, every day, not only once in a blue moon, but every day. They practiced what I personally call a daily sacrifice of love because they were sacrificing their lives daily. For what purpose? For the purpose of a true religion and for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's your time now 
to change, to return to the Father and to, to Jesus. It's your time now to turn your heart to the fathers. And the fathers in Malachi 4 does not refer to your earthly fathers. They refer to your forefathers, which means to the prophets and the saints, but they also refer to God the Father, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. So it's time now to turn your heart. And then you turn your heart. Automatically, you turn your back towards the world, your careers, your riches, and towards Babylon, the false religions, the false churches, the buildings, the denominations, the man-made religions, and especially the spreading doctrines that are all false. Turn your back to this and come out of the world and walk that narrow and righteous path, the heavenly path that will lead you to paradise. Thank you that you have listened to this daily prophetic word and I hope it will, gives you some encouragement. And if you have questions, then just send them to me at triplegrace55 at gmail.com. I love you all so dearly and I hope that my messages will help you on your way and that we can come together in love, unity and support, that we build home churches, the places of the light of the Lord in all the nations and in, on all continents so that we can bring in the harvest of the ages. Have a blessed day in the Lord. Maranatha.